sister girl, get your gossip. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to open this. My name's Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we found out how to open it. <laughs> That's the opening. Congrats. Everyone, welcome to Gamer Girls, but specifically the sister girl gossip because we're here to gossip about all of our hot tea that we have throughout our lives. We have we have so much uh, gems. I'm excited for America to know <laughs> what? what's on the up and up here. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? I was like waiting for you to like jump in and like say something. And then you're like, I'm excited for America Trenal or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I'm excited for America to know all of our gems. Oh, I thought, you said, I thought you were saying like someone's name. Like I, for my brain, just like put that all into one word. Like I'm so excited for America Trenal. <laughs> the newest drag queen on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, could you imagine? Everyone welcome to the stage, America Trammell. <laughs> oh my god, it's not even been 20 seconds and we've already gone off the rails of the podcast. Well, do you expect anything else from us two? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, uh, my name is Cole and this is uh, my co-host Chris, my sister girl. Blood and guts and boobs and butts. There you go. Uh, he's joined with us with a potato quality microphone, so you're gonna have me with a really nice quality, and then Chris gets like the crunch. He's all about the crunch. Yeah, well, it's also because I'm like a good half country away. That is true. You decided to leave me for better off uh, pastures. Is that is that what I did? <laughs> is that what we're calling this? <laughs> well, a pasture. It's like one of those pastures that the the farmers like put the cattle out to die. True. I do feel like. I went behind the barn. And there is a threatening man looking at me. <laughs> there's, well, you're in Florida, so there's a, a lot, tiny object I was in his say, hand. There, there's a lot of guns, so like I'm sure it's bound to happen. Yeah, and you know what? I'll accept my fate. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> oh god! So if it uh, was meant to be, it's meant to be. <laughs> right. All right. So anyway, um, like I was saying, in the sister girl gossip, we're just here to spout some gossip just talk about our life experience because we've had a lot of life um, and some of it is just off the walls bonkers just because of like, <laughs> yeah. our, our career paths, our lives and like who we've associated with. So uh, <laughs> get ready for some hot mess. I was like, we're just a big freaking mess. Oh, Ex- 100%. Also, if I cuss a lot, I'm sorry, America. <laughs> America Tremel is going to be really upset at you. <laughs> No, girl, this is Gamer Girl, so we can say what we want when we want. Good, because these sentence enhancers are going to be going crazy. (laughs) SpongeBob is going to be proud. Literally. (laughs) So today, we are going to open up the first episode of the Sister Girl Gossip, talking about our dreams. What? Just, you know, dreams are magical. There's something that could take you anywhere. You could do anything with dreams. Sometimes they crash and burn or turn into nightmares and you get sleep paralysis. So we're just kind of talking all what about... What book did you get that definition out of? <laughs> My ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's wow. a lot of stuff coming out of there right now. I had some bad coffee today, so it's just like nonstop flow right now. Man, the coffee will do you in sometimes, for real. Well, I just think the milk it... was spoiled, too, so it just didn't end well for Who me. Who made your coffee? I did, but I it was milk from, like, the company fridge, and I haven't been there in, like, a week because I was on vacation. So who knows how long okay, the milk has been in there. Why the hell are you making coffee with rotten milk? <laughs> well, I didn't you know. You deserve what you're getting right yeah. now. <laughs> this is what you get. It's your comeuppance. <laughs> So I've literally been living. (laughs) So I've literally been living a nightmare today, which goes in line with our theme for today. Oh, this yes, that ties in. (laughs) (laughs) Let's just dive on in. (laughs) Do it. So, girl, tell me about uh, some of your dreams. Like, have you ever had any uh, crazy dreams? I know we've talked about it before, but your your dreams are uh, to be desired sometimes. So I have like this weird mix of dreams we have the spectrum of like you know really happy can make you tear up you know something really <laughs> positive happens like a hallmark and movie <laughs> this, these really freaking weird like i sat there and washed my hands in a sink for eight hours 
looking in a mirror. Like, so, I mean, it just depends on, you know, the day. But I don't really dream a whole lot anymore. All I see is black. <laughs> oh, God, that's so sad. <laughs> I go to bed, and then I wake back up. <laughs> that's what I do. Have you ever had um, anesthesia? No. No, that's but like- I feel like I'm going to have to when I get my wisdom teeth out. Oh, yeah, I would recommend that. It, when you have anesthesia, that's literally the feeling. Like, you um, are awake, and then, like, they're giving you anesthesia, and they're like, oh, my God, tell me your favorite farm animal. And you're like, oh, my God, the cows are so... <laughs> and then, like, literally a second passes, <laughs> and you're, like, in pain, like, on a bed, and, like, there's some, like, nurse, like, right in your face, like, hi, how's it going? Are, are you feeling better? And you're like, I feel like I just got violated by five men. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> You're about to vomit. <laughs> no, because I've seen videos of people coming out of anesthesia and they look like they would just rather be dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the feeling. I'm not ready for it. But see, I know this isn't about dreams, but my dentist says the cheapest way to go about it is just to pull them while I'm awake. And I'm like, okay, because my wisdom oh, teeth are fully grown. So I was like, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> so that's more of a nightmare for you. Uh, see, I can talk for days about nightmares I've had, only because they're so weird. I have lucid dreams, but they're never positive. They always end in a negative way. See, I've had that too. So most of the bad ones happened when I was living at home with my parents. Um, I swear <laughs> to you, the old house was evil. There was some kind of evil entity. In- <laughs> there was a spirit that was haunting you. <laughs> well, okay, because I remember when they first started, I was probably like, it was when I came back from cruise line. So I was like 21 ish, 21, 22. Uh-huh. The very first lucid dream I had was a nightmare. Of course. Uh, it's like you're asleep, but you're also awake. Like, you know, what's going on. Right. I got out of bed. I look into the corner of the room. There's like this man standing there. It's just the shadow of a man. <laughs> like, oh. But I didn't know whether to run away or to hide under my covers so I did the logical thing, and I hid under my covers, hoping he would go away. I lift my covers back up. He got closer. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I started rubbing my eyes. I was like, there's no way. And so he's just sitting still, wasn't saying anything. So I was like, okay, maybe this is my dad, or maybe this is, like, Will playing a trick on me or something like that. So I rubbed my eyes, and he disappears. And I was like, holy hell, what was that? And then after that, they just kept getting worse and worse. And worse. So I would say probably like a month after that, I wake up with that same thing. There was a man in the corner of the room or like <laughs> a shadow figure of a man. And I was like, okay, you know Could what? You it was out, a dream. Like, Last time it's a dream. Or, or was it just like, just like a shadowy figure? It was just a shadowy figure of like a really tall man. Cause I mean, this thing didn't have no tits or anything like that. It just looked like a man. <laughs> But it wasn't like a just like a shadow like on the wall or something. It was like you could like tell there was like something there. No, it looked like someone was trying to play a trick on me and was just sitting in the corner of the room, <laughs> like staring at me. But the second time, um, I didn't hide under the covers. I just kind of like looked at it and it started to move, like it was walking. Oh, and I got are. freaked the hell out. So I jumped up out of bed and I ran into <laughs> this is so so sad. I ran into Michael's room yeah. and I was like, Michael, there's <laughs> someone Oh, Michael's my younger brother. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that your younger brother? Yeah, I was gonna be like, Oh, your older brother. I was like, no, that's One not your of older my younger brother. <laughs> okay, so Will's the oldest, and then there's Mike and Nick. They're the youngest. So I run into Michael's room, turn on all the lights in his room, and I was like, Michael. <laughs> There's someone in the living room. Call 911. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what? You know, because this is three in the morning. And I was like, I need you to grab something. We're going to go into the living room. I think there's someone in there. <laughs> and obviously, I'm awake, but I'm still asleep. So I'm like, we're halfway down the living room. I was like, wait a minute, Michael. I am so sorry. There's no one in the living room. <laughs> this was a dream last night. It's a dream this time. Oh my god, I just imagine that conversation, how upset I would be at you if I was your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so oh my god, bad. Girl. It gets worse, trust me. So he goes back to bed and I go in the living room 
my blankets like thrown off. I it looked like I had a major freak out. And I was like, okay, I feel like an idiot. And I would go back to bed. <laughs> Not even like 30 minutes later, because I swear to you, I only slept for about 30 minutes. That same shadowy figure is in the living room, but it's like in the middle of the room oh, as if weird. it walked to the middle of the room. And I was like, okay, this has to be a dream again. I rub my eyes to try and wake up. It's still there. <laughs> I run back to Michael's room. I was like, Michael, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever uh, like, um, like run to like try and like get them or did you like always like run away from them? No, I always ran away from them. I should have like tried to like communicate or whatever. Oh, I would have just like gone. But I never like, did. I would have gone straight for the tackle. Like been like, oh, I'm coming for you. No, there was just there was the my fight or flight, and I I flew like an idiot only because I was so disoriented, and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna win. <laughs> so I'm too drowsy. I ran back to Michael's room and I turned on all the lights again. I was like, he's back. And Michael was like, go back to bed. This is obviously a dream. I was like, okay. I love how you're going to your little brother for like these moments of like tranquility. (laughs) Like, meanwhile, your parents are like, what the fuck is going on out there? (laughs) Oh my God, just do wait. Because these dreams, they get worse. So I would say it was probably a year later. Like those kind of dreams, like they were reoccurring and it was just the same kind of thing. I was, I want to say this was after my first contract in Branson. So I'm like 23, 24. Um, I'm living in the living room at this point because everyone has their rooms. Right. Um, and I, I it had to have been from taking z for real because NyQuil <laughs> and z like triggered some weird shit. Um, I was having a dream and I knew I was having a dream because I was asleep. But like something was chasing me. And I was running away from it, and I tripped, and I woke up. Mm-hmm. As I'm waking up, there is something running from the outside, and it made it into the house, and it's what? running towards me. And I was like, what? what? Like, <laughs> Wait, screaming at the top of my lungs. What? <laughs> Hold on, what does that even mean? Like, you saw it out the window or something, and it, like, phased through the wall? Yes, like a ghost. It was running oh full speed at me <laughs> from the outside to the inside. And I swear, it had to have been the Z-Quill. It had to have been. That is But I was screaming upsetting. bloody freaking murder. <laughs> My mom comes running in the living room. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry, mom. I thought I saw something. There's nothing here. It was just a dream. And she was like, okay. <laughs> Turned off the lights, went back to bed, and everything was fine after that. <laughs> Oh my god! Was that like the last? But then occurrence? it gets better. Oh my god! No, <laughs> no, it gets better. So then this happened maybe a couple weeks later. I didn't take a Zequil. I was like, I ain't doing that again. I have that same dream, but instead of it like running towards me, it was running around the house. What? Like it was just doing laps? <laughs> but like. The weird thing was, with most of these shadowy figures, there were no eyes. This one had eyes. Like, it was a person. Oh. And it freaked me out. Like So I, I ran in, because I was like, what? Like, real, like, looking eyes? Or, like, you know, like, you know, like, the ghostly, like, red eyes? Like, real looking eyes. Like, there was a person outside walking around the house. So I go into my parents' room. I was like, Dad, I think there's someone outside. <laughs> And you know my dad, a very lazy man. He was like, oh, you're he w- fine, go to bed. I was going to say, he was wasn't like, going out there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, thanks, dad. Thanks. So I go outside. I open up the back door just to see. And of course, there's no one there. I turn on the porch. No one's there. I was like, God, this was another fucking dream. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an idiot every time, too, because I wake up the entire house flipping out. And so I go back to bed. Everything's fine. Nothing happens again. And then it was after the second Branson contract, the Clay Cooper contract, is when things got really bad. So I became like an insomniac. I could not sleep without Zequil. And so I had to start taking it again. Mm-hmm. It was one of like after I got fired and came back home, the very first dream I remember having was like someone was in the house, but they were like, breaking in and like stealing stuff right and 
I wake up because it freaked me out. And then all of a sudden, now I can hear things. I hear someone say, oh my God, he's awake, run. What? And I see these two figures run in opposite directions. I ran towards my parents' room, screaming bloody murder, <laughs> turning on all the lights. I was like, there's people. <laughs> and my parents were screaming bloody murder in their bed. Mike and Nick run out of their rooms. They're like, what's going on? And I was like, I'm so sorry, guys. I was having a bad dream. There's, I don't think there was anyone in the oh house. Oh, my God. I love how vivid your dreams are. Like, you have situational vivid dreams. Dude, they get freaking scary. Um, but after that, everything was fine again. You know, huh. like, I normally only have them once, and then I can go to bed and everything's fine. Oh, that's so interesting. And then I had kind of like similar dreams after that where people were just in the house running around, things were flying around, you know, just things like that. <laughs> Normal things. When I moved out here to Orlando, it was one of the very first times I took Z-Quill living with Chantel. Uh -huh. And I had a dream that someone broke into the house and it freaked me out because I could hear footsteps and they were getting closer. And I knew Chantel was with either her mom or her boyfriend. So I was home alone and I was like, oh my God. And I tried to escape out my window. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you did not. I did. And I woke up as I'm like halfway out and I'm like, what am I doing? Oh my God. That's so funny. It sounds like you need to stay off of Dayquil. Okay. But listen <laughs> to this. Ever since I started dating Zach and I've taken Zquil, I can sleep through the night just fine. I guess. I mean, maybe it was... Given, you know, he's in the room, like, we're sleeping in the same bed, so everything's... I feel safer, but... <laughs> but I have not had a lucid dream or nightmare ever since. That's so I crazy. don't know. Maybe there was a ghost hanging around in my parents' house. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that was, like, kind of, like, one of my... When you were talking about it, it was, like, one of my first assumptions was, like... Either maybe you had like really bad sleep paralysis, but you said you were moving, and people don't usually move when they have like sleep no, paralysis like, demons. I would physically get up and stand, and I could still still see them. I could still see them running towards me, or like in the corner of the room, something. So that's, I was like, "This is really that's weird." Pretty crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's the the only other thing I can think of is. I mean, I, I guess maybe you could be like actually haunted by something, and like. He he just bugs you in your sleep just to be a freak or you're literally well, you know what? I don't even believe in ghosts. <laughs> but like that stuff freaked me out. Oh yeah. I would believe in ghosts if that happened to me. I just seriously thought that I was having bad dreams. I think it's probably more auditorial and visual hallucin hallucinations. Oh my god. I'm slurring my words out of cocktail before this. <laughs> Well, because like I said, I was an insomniac. Like I would go to bed around five or six in the morning because I just couldn't fall asleep. And then I would wake up at nine o'clock in the morning, fully awake, stay up all day, but not be able to go back to bed until <laughs> five or six in the morning the next day. So I was literally going insane. <laughs> now, here's a, another question for you. Um, and if you don't have anything on this one, I can talk about it. Have you ever um, been a sleepwalker? <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i've literally gotten up out of bed and left the house like and walked out of the house sleepwalking and my dad had to come and get me and be like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> you know and you're not supposed to wake up a sleepwalker no no, no but no, you know you know leave it to my dad you know right. almost giving me a heart attack <laughs> I mean, maybe that was... But yeah, like, I think I've only experienced that, like, once or twice. I mean, it could be that. Like, you could be, like, in a situation of, like, sleepwalking. I lied to you. I literally lied to you. It happened once here with Zach. I was walking around, like, the foot of the bed. I had my flashlight on. And I think I was looking for, like, a treat or something like that for the, <laughs> the dog. I was like, do you know where it's at? And I kept asking Zach. <laughs> I was like, do you know where it's at? Where is it at? Where's the box? <laughs> And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> so bad. That's funny. So I have sleptwalk since Chantel's house. I used to sleepwalk a whole lot as a kid. 
um, kind of, a few times when I was a teenager. I do remember one time vividly, um, I walked out of the house and went to, I don't remember whose house it was at, but I, I broke into someone's house and I would just stand in the corner of their room. Um, <laughs> and they would constantly like put their bed sheet over their face or like scream. Sometimes I'd like run around their house. Oh my God. They <laughs> did that to try and wake you up. <laughs> No, girl, I was trying to to play it like I was your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> you broke into someone's house, put a sheet <laughs> over your head, and scared people? <laughs> just you. <laughs> it was just you. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> you are so fucking stupid because I believed you. <laughs> no, I did actually used to sleepwalk, though, like when I was a kid. That, that, whole, like, that whole thing was a joke just to get a rise out of you. Um, but I did use to it sleep. It did. Water. It really did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like even went to Florida a couple times. It was really bizarre. Like I like got on I'm like a really a, upset with you. <laughs> I I just remember like waking up in like the swamps of Florida, and apparently I got on a like six hour plane ride, and just it was weird. You are so incredibly lucky. I didn't like bust through the door and start <laughs> like beating the crap out of you, <laughs> <laughs> girl. If I actually did that, I think you would beat the crap out of me. Yeah, if I knew it was you, I would literally top you up and send you back to Dale in a box. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't blame you. Thank you. Yeah. I think the um, the only times I can remember sleepwalking um, was when I was a kid. I don't think I've sleptwalked since I was maybe 10, um, but I did it a lot when I was a kid. And I never went like, I never tried to go outside, but I always, for whatever reason, I would sleepwalk and try and go to the bathroom like i was sleepwalking to go pee somewhere like in the bathroom but i never went to the bathroom in the right spot well luckily you were at least trying to do something good (laughs) i was trying to accomplish a task you were trying to be a good person and not pee in your desk drawer and make your mom clean it up oh (laughs) no girl that's things happened like i i like i said i didn't pee in the proper places like i would wake up like mid pee and i'd be like in the living room my mom's like screaming at me because i'm like peeing in the middle of the floor (laughs) i'm dead (laughs) oh my god there was one time where i slept walk and we had like a board game closet and i Mm -hmm. opened the door to the board game closet thinking it was the bathroom and i walked in and started peeing on all the board games i think we had to throw out like 10 board games because i peed on all of them oh my god that is (laughs) everything Um, (laughs) oh my god i can't your mom and dad are like that was 120 bucks of board games right and i know you're joking but i think i did at one point um i don't think it was a desk drawer i think it was like somewhere in the kitchen it was like one of like the lower cabinets or like a utensil drawer or something like i opened it up and peed in there too Oh my god! I was, I was a crazy sleepwalker. I just like I. You were a menace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never like did anything like you know dangerous, but I would just go pee on things. I was marking my territory. <laughs> that is so gross. <laughs> well, okay. So when you sleptwalk, though, were you still like dreaming? Yeah. It kind of it was it's kind of weird because I I remember I mean kind of vaguely since it was so long ago but I remember vaguely kind of in like a half awake half sleep state where I I knew I needed to go to the bathroom so I got out of bed and was going to the bathroom but like I was still like asleep so I didn't like really know where I was going so it was kind of weird because I remember like going to the bathroom but like in my mind like I was you know, going to the toilet and going to the bathroom. And then like, I would either not wake up until the next morning. And then like my mom would yell at me. Um, or I would like, wake wake up like mid pee (laughs) with my mom yelling at me. Well, because I know that when you sleepwalk, your eyes are open. Yeah. You know, so you are very conscious of like where you're going, what's going on, but you're still like dreaming. I was like, when I was asking about, like, where the box was, where the dog treats and stuff were, like, I could see and hear what was going on. I just did not know what the hell I was doing. (laughs) And I couldn't control myself. 
<laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of weird. Like I said, like I was, I feel like I was half asleep and half awake because like I knew I needed to go to the bathroom. My like goal was to go to the bathroom, um, but like I was still like kind of unconscious to where I didn't know where the bathroom was. So I just like was like, oh, the game closet, Monopoly. That's the target. <laughs> that's the toilet. <laughs> Mr. Monopoly, she's like, oh god, please no! <laughs> but I, I do want to let America know that I do have sometimes good dreams. Um, they're not lucid, but I do have good ones sometimes. Just every once in a while. Just every once in a while. Like <laughs> I remember there was this one. It was see, and I, I never like I have the hardest time remembering the good dreams. <laughs> but oh my I god, that's so sad. The scary ones. I'll remember the scary ones. Well, the scary ones are um, ones to stay with you. Yes, especially if it's, like, some evil man running around my living room. <laughs> right? I know I'm probably, like, cutting into what you're going to say next about your good dreams. Um, but I am curious. Um, have you ever had a dream that was so scarring that, like, you physically felt it? Yes. And this is going to sound so depressing. I'm so sorry. So... It was two days after my grandma died um, because our family is like super close. Like, you know, right. go to Sunday dinner at grandma's house every, every week. And um, so when she died, it hit like really, really hard. Um, like, you know, I've never seen my grandpa cry. That was really weird. So I had a dream that, you know, she was saying goodbye like, she was still alive, but she said right. goodbye. I That's remember sweet. waking up. My pillow was, like, soaking wet. Like, I was bawling my eyes out. I was like, oh. no. <laughs> but that, like, is burned into my memory forever. I don't know if that's still a positive dream or not. But because it was during COVID, it was, like, oh, yeah, June yeah. of 2020. And we were not allowed to go see her. And the only ones allowed to see her were mom, my aunt Sandy, Uncle Phil, and uh, Uncle Ricky. Mm-hmm. And they were only allowed to see her one at a time. And they ran out of time because she literally died like the day she got to the right. hospital. Well, that's still kind of sweet. She still came. She You couldn't go see her. So she came and saw you. Yeah. Well, because it was weird. Um, my cousin Haley had the same dream a few days later. Like, so, I mean, she was About hitting all grandma? of us like at different times. But yeah, like the same kind of thing. She was just like, goodbye. Oh, that's sweet. So we were like, oh, oh, bye. <laughs> oh, <bye girl. laughs> I'll talk to you later, Grandma. It's just it's it's very strange how that happened, but I'm glad it did. Yeah, I do think like it is possible to like communicate through dreams. Like I think that's I mean, there's so much like we don't know like scientifically about dreams that I could definitely see that being like a possibility. Yeah, I think. But- um, on my end, though, kind of more what I was thinking of <laughs> when I said, have you ever had a dream so like vivid that you like you felt it? Um, I I had this one particular dream and I don't know why it was so vivid for me, but I remember like almost every single detail f- from it. There was. Oh, boy. I was getting chased. I don't know why I was getting chased, um, but. I was being chased by, like, there was, like, a Russian lady, like, you know, like, the stereotypical, like, Russian spy that's, like, in full, like, rubber spandex. (laughs) Like, (laughs) she was after me. There was, like, this big, burly man. Um, It it was, like, basically, like, a James Bond movie where, like, I'm being chased. Mm -hmm. Like, I was, like, in a car, like, speeding down the highway, like, trying to get away. Um, There was one point where, like, I was running on top of a train, like, trying to get away from these people. And then at some point, like it after like hours of in like different transportations of me like running, um, they finally caught me and they take me back to like this decrepit, like old building that's like falling apart. And they have right. both my parents and my brother tied up, like tied to a chair. Oh, like they have like the classic like um, like cloth gag on and they throw me into like the same situation and kind of like a actually was like from what i remember it's like a really nice chair it was (laughs) it's like one of those this is scary it's like one of those like big like 
uh, uh, think about like Blue's Clues style, like big chair. Like that's kind of like what I was in. Like, t- <laughs> like tied me down to that. Um, put a gag. Of course, in- you got the good chair, right? Put, exactly. Put a gag in my mouth, and then I can't remember like the details of like what was said. Um, but the little spy lady is going around like be like, oh, like this is what you get, like blah blah blah. Like, I'm gonna make sure you remember this, and like talking to my family about it. And then she like, <laughs> I vividly remember like she has her back to me. And in like a quick instant, she like just quickly turns around and stabs me in the chest. Oh, my God. And I can I can I I woke up like as I was dying, like like just left the knife in my chest. And like in my dream, I can remember like gasping for air because like you get stabbed in the heart like you're you're dying you're dead right so i remember like waking up and like still feeling that in my chest and like just gasping for air girl horrifying i've never had a dream like that horrifying i don't know where that dream came from i've never had a dream like that since but it scarred me like i remember that like i remember the feeling of being stabbed (laughs) <laughs> oh my god was the spandex lady at least sexy i mean yeah but like i, I don't know why <laughs> why she was why after she me. Was there? right i was like i don't know you get out of here like sexy russian lady get out of here slut is that <laughs> pretty much <laughs> i should have said that in my dream maybe she wouldn't have stabbed me I just love that she turned around so quickly and stabbed you first. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't even get to figure out what happened to my my uh, dream parents and my dream brother. Like, did they die too? <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you remember this. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't remember it. I, I mean, I guess she was right because I do remember her stabbing me in the chest. Oh my god! See, that would have freaked me out. Yeah, that one was scary. Um, so circling back i know you said you had good dreams let's uh let's let's lighten the mood a little bit let's go back to what you i just saying. can't remember them <laughs> you know you have them but you just don't that's the hard part i i do have them like there are some days where i wake up and i feel so freaking happy because i had the best dream ever <laughs> but you don't remember but what i was. can't remember I can remember like tiny, tiny details of like seeing a butterfly or seeing a bird or something like that, but I don't remember what happened. That's pretty funny. I, uh, it's ha- awful. Have you ever thought about, um, you know, the one time in my life where I specifically remember the dreams and kind of to this day, I still kind of remember them, um, is when I kept a dream journal and like, I, yeah. I had like a period of like, um, maybe two or three months where I would, as soon as I woke up, I would write down everything that I remember about my dream. Oh my God. And you still have it, right? Somewhere. I'd have to like, look for it. I don't know. Oh, Oh, I actually, it might be right here. Do I have it with me right here? There's no way. Right. If you have shark boy and lava girl in that damn dream journal, I'm going to laugh and be so proud all at the same time. I know I wrote it in like a little book. It might be here. I'm like flipping through right now. I don't know if this is the right book or not. Um, but yeah, that's the only time in my life I could remember my dreams is when I wrote them down. I'm being so for real with you. Sleep goes by so fast now that like, I don't dream. Sometimes I'll see colors, but like the actual dream part of it. It might be at my parents' house. I don't know if I have it. But I do remember like one specific dream was like, I was Sonic the Hedgehog and it was like basically like a Sonic the Hedgehog, like morning cartoon situation. Um, there was an there was another one where I was a dinosaur and the dinosaurs were equivalent to like humans to where like if humans never existed and dinosaurs just like kept living. Um, so they had like skyscrapers and giant buildings and like a floating <laughs> island where like there was a citadel <laughs> and then the, like they were being attacked by like r- rival dinosaurs and like the city. Like, How come you get to have all the fun ones? I these I you say like after I just described in vivid detail the dreams where I got b- brutally murdered. Girl, I told you I had <laughs> five years worth of dreams of some man chasing me. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, in between those, you have dreams where you're washing your hands for eight hours. 
Those were so peaceful. I will say <laughs> those were some weird dreams that they were so peaceful. The peaceful era <laughs> washing my hands. Yeah. It was so peaceful. I don't even remember what the soap smells like. I don't remember if the water was warm or cold. It was so peaceful. You just remember the flowing water and just scrubbing your hands together and just having a good time? Yes. And I never felt so clean. <laughs> well, I think the But now it okay, doesn't go. happen. um i think one of the last few things i can think about in terms of dreams are i know we talked about um people visiting you in dreams which i i do think is a possibility um another thing that i think is a strong possibility that doesn't have any scientific backing is like deja vu like premonition type things Explain yourself. So, have you never had deja vu? Have you experienced this? No, I have never experienced that. I have experienced deja vu before, <clears throat> and it it's different intensities. Like, there's definitely times where, I mean, I wake up and it's like, oh, my mom made me waffles. And she's like, hi, honey, how are you doing? I made waffles. And it's like, oh, I remember that, like, very distinctly in my dream. But, I mean, that literally is, like, such a nothing situation where i mean that could have happened like you know at nine different days and it's not like something like that's at like super uncommon um and i've had other dreams that are like a little bit more specific where it's like oh emily forgot her book report and she was crying about it in the hallway and then like i would go to school that day and be like oh emily forgot her book report and she's crying in the hallway and you didn't tell Emily to bring <laughs> no. her book report to school? No, I didn't I didn't tell her when I got to school that day. I was like, Emily, you I was, evil whore. Yeah, I well, I didn't want her to think I was a a freaking psychopath is the main thing where I like I mean, I'm not going to go up to someone and be like, "Hey Emily, like I know um we've maybe <laughs> talked about 10 times in our entire life, but I had a dream I had a I had a vivid dream about you um the other day where you got to school and you know, our book reports do, um, you forgot yours. I just want to make sure you have her, have yours. And I mean, like what, what, (laughs) what's the uh, outcome of that situation? Do I get slapped? No, she probably would have beat you up. You're like Raven Simone. Kind of. I feel like it's a Raven Baxter. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's a very light, Raven Simone because I've I've definitely had premonitions before that I have actually listened to and I don't know the outcome of all of them um but oh my god please tell me one please so it's like I mean it's not like a vivid like you know like Raven like oh I just had this like straight up vision but almost almost like like a conscious like voice in your head where it's like, Hey, don't do this thing. Like, don't go out there and do this. And then right. like <laughs> something like bad, ha- like someone gets in a car crash or something. Um, so it's like, Oh man, I could, Oh, you're really good at doing that too. I know. <laughs> but think, how, think how much more car crashes I'd be in if I didn't have premonitions. I mean, for real. <laughs> um, but it's like, just kind of like things like that where it's like, there's like certain dangerous situations that like every once in a while, like my brain's like, Hey, you're going to get hurt if you go over here and do that. So I was like, Oh, okay. I'm just going, not going to do that. And you know, nine times out of 10, I don't know what the outcome of that is. Um, but it's just something I love that, that though. It's just something I've been aware of since I was a kid. That is so interesting. I love that. You're yeah. like literally my own Raven Baxter. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, it's not like it happens. It, I'm not like living like in that. So Raven where it's like every day and I'm like dressing up and cosplay and like, I got to be the waiter. Cause I'm, my dad's going to lose a job if I don't get, um, right, I was out saying you knew that Tina Hooper was going to be awful. Didn't you? And you didn't tell me. Oh yeah. Oh, I knew. I, I know everything is um, mm. one of the, like the weirdest things um, about premonitions is that every once in a while you get like a, 
really big glimpse at like some random person's life. And I've actually seen your complete life story up until this point. I just haven't told you cause I kind of uh, like the drama and I want to experience it firsthand. If I could reach through this goddamn <laughs> phone and slap you right now, I would. Girl, could you imagine oh, if, I, you if, I, if I knew every detail about your life and like what's to come and I'm just sitting here like, oh, it's going to be good for me, not for you. I would stop talking to you forever. It'd be over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, the, th- this is the only episode we put out of uh, Gamer Girls. In, or the sisterhood is over. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was a really short lived series. They got through one episode and it turns out like Cole knew everything about Chris's life and they just, just spiraled out of control. He, he saw this coming, but he still wanted to make sure that he knew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, that would freak me out. Yeah, like I said, it's not like it's something that, like, you know, I can actively predict. Like, I'm not, like, going to school, like, when I was growing up. I'm not, like, actively, like, looking for those things. I just know they happen in my dream, and then, like, when they happen, I'm like, oh, I that's something that I actively knew was going to happen. I just didn't know, like, when or where it was going to happen. Bro. Do you know what they would have done to you at school if you started telling people stuff like that? Oh yeah. The, oh no. I I I would have ended up like a. You would have been burnt at the stake in I the middle say, of the. I would have been a Brandon Vanden Voss situation. Oh, uh, you would have disappeared. Yeah, d- escorted out and disappeared, never to be heard from again. He lives in San Diego. Oh, good he's like him. in the Navy or something. Living his dreams. Oh my god. Uh, speaking of, oh my god, are you living your dreams? Um, is that silence deafening? <laughs> I was going to say the silence said it all. Listen, some of my dreams have come true. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about <laughs> my work situation. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got dreams. like 10 more episodes about like your career path. So say, save those stories. Oh, God. I will save all the good ones, but I would say I'm living living a pretty positive dream right now. There you go. There, a dream um, is occurring. It's you haven't decided if it's the good the good one or the one where you get stabbed by a sexy Russian lady yet. Uh, yes. <laughs> See, I will say meeting Zach has been a dream come true. Like I have not been this happy in a very long time. So I will say that's a positive. Working for Disney, no. <laughs> no. Constant nightmare. That dream, that dream, that made me happy for probably like two months. And then my body remembered how painful these costumes are. And I was like, oh. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Mickey came out and was like, oh, you tried to leave before, but now you're back and you're never going to leave again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, I love being in like the shows and parades and stuff like that. And I mean, the sets are fun too. But yeah, that and we'll stop there. <laughs> there we go. So, yes and no, uh, maybe so. I feel like is your answer. Yes, <laughs> yes. We'll save that for a later time. <laughs> episode three. Join us next time. <laughs> but we made it past episode one. That's true. So we're doing good. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna um, probably end it off there. Um, I feel like what about your dreams? You you didn't say nothing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely living my dreams. Like I I I do think um, I got very lucky with um, my career, where I was interning somewhere and my dream job like pretty much like fell on my lap, and I've been there ever since. So like I I definitely That's don't good. take it for granted. Like I like I don't think I would ever quit unless like some something crazy happens. Um, Mm-mm, you've been so successful. Oh yeah, like I, I'm doing exactly Mm-mm. what I want to do. Uh, I'm happy, mm-hmm. so like I, I, I can't complain. Like I definitely have a um, done what most people strive their whole life to do. So I, I, I don't want to take that for granted. Yeah, you've been doing so good though, and you're actually good at what you do. I know. That's what I keep telling people. 
Yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> when people talk bad about you behind your back, I'm like, what are you talking yeah. about? Literally, like, I don't want to take things for granted. Like, you know, I'm just, like, so happy and humble for that. And then, like, two seconds later, I'm like, yeah, I know I'm good. <laughs> no, like, I find it funny. You know, you edit these, like, movies and commercials, but what people see most is <laughs> the channel, the retro gaming channel. <laughs> Like I know that's like so that's so funny. Like, well, it's like I can't really like. I'm, I mean, I guess I can put it on Facebook. Like, hey, look at what I did. But like, I mean, it's not going to get eyeballs if I like post like a, a trailer mm-hmm. to our channel and be like, guys, I I did the VFX on this. That sky, I put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, like who's gonna yeah. who's gonna sit down for like a thirty minute deep dive into? the exact things I did on like a, a, a TV commercial. <laughs> I mean, true. True. I would rather watch all of your TV commercials instead of the channel stuff, mainly because I'm in it and it's very scarring to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, there's going to be a whole episode about that. So get ready for that. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear from Taff again. I haven't heard him in forever. Oh, that's right. So, uh, um, Taff will be joining us for the Russo gaming episode of the sister girl gossip. We don't know, uh, the exact episode number that's going to be yet. So yeah, I guess you're just gonna have to stay tuned. You're going to have to stay tuned. Yep, so girl, and think- at least try and make it through this episode. If you couldn't make it through this one, then that's okay. But <laughs> yeah, I was going to say like, I understand, like I totally get it. Like no judgment, like none. Totally understand. No, no. <laughs> if you if you need to like unsubscribe and like probably call the feds on us, we understand. I, absolutely, a hundred percent. Like if if you are scarred for life and have to get therapy, I won't pay for it, but like I will be your reference. We'll support it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do like the Zoe one hundred and one uh, like cheerleader thing for you in the background. Rejected. Yeah. Rejected. rejected. You, you just, just got, got rejected. rejected. Oh my god! Well, I I'd think... do that. I would gladly do that <laughs> for but, free, right? Well, I think that's going to end off this episode. So, girl, do you, you have did any, it. Do you have any final thoughts? Don't take Zequil if you sleep alone. <laughs> it sounds like even if because you're not alone, even if you're with people, don't take Zequil. Just don't do it if you have a week constitution <laughs> i was gonna say a weak psyche if you're just a weak don't do it because you're gonna get some weird ass nightmares if you're just a weak person just like go if to you're just weak <laughs> oh my god so therapy is for you little weakling <laughs> five seconds ago we're like yeah if you get a therapy we'll support you and then like 10 seconds later, like we tear off the cheerleaders outfits. We're like, <laughs> we're in like dude, bro, like gym outfits. We're jacked. We're like, you're weak, bro. You're, you're just freaking weak. <laughs> you want <a> therapy? You <laughs> little Give weakly. Up, <laughs> Wimp. You sissy. You'll never be an alpha male like we are. If you're going to go to therapy. <laughs> Awful. Oh my God. Awful. Well, I think we're going to end it off here. Thank you guys for watching the uh, first episode of sister girl. Gossip. They didn't watch anything. They listened to it. They listened, but it is going to be on YouTube and there's going to be maybe a fun little video with it. We'll see what happens. I don't know how lazy Ooh. or sophisticated I'm going to be yet. So we'll see well, what it looks like. This does need to be like a really big, like first yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. I will step yeah. on the microphone. <laughs> Girl, me too. I'm feeling it right now. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening and or watching uh, whatever is on the screen. Um, We will be back for more episodes. Uh, We have other series that are going on uh, right now on the channel. So go check those out. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, hoes. Bye. I don't know what my (laughs) ending was. I don't know what that was. I just moaned in the microphone. That will hit at least one target out there, you know. One one person will really enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> It'll me. You're the one person you like to hear yourself moan. Yeah, I, I'm I'm weird like that. Girl, mm-mm. <laughs> I don't want to know what kind of freaking recordings you have on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Just like 
I'm like scroll. I'm like showing you a picture of like, oh hey, look at this picture of this cute dog I took. And oh god, in between there's like few pictures or three like short like little videos of me going like. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's just pure like pitch black, just random moans. It's so bad. <laughs> Literally, if. I'm not insulting you or being awful. I would call the police because that's not me. 